are back to life. On Sunday, kids and adults of all ages visited the airport for Aviation Day. Kids ages 14 to 17 were able to participate in the Young Eagle program. We're really trying to get young people into the aviation industry, uh, whether it be as a, a mechanic or whether they want to be as a pilot or anything else in, in the industry. Through the program, kids will get online courses and flight training, all free of charge. Many brave people who attended the event waited in line to get a bird's eye view of not just the airport, but of Washington. Somehow, I was talked into going for a ride in one of the U.S. Air Force planes that were on display. It was hard to hide my fear in the beginning, but once we were high up above Washington, my excitement grew. Those who are looking to grow a hobby or career in aviation are invited to check out the Davies County Airport. Well, we have a beautiful airport here in Davies County and uh, we really encourage people to stop by and visit with us. The airport is working on starting a new flight club for those with radio-controlled airplanes. Through Midwest Aerosports, the airport also has airplanes to rent and instructors on hand to teach people how to fly. We're going to try to have it as an annual event and have a, a lot of smaller events in between. Organizers told me events similar to this will be taking flight soon. Now you can read more about the Davies County Airport by heading over to WTHITV.com and clicking on this story. Reporting in Washington, Nathan Springfield, News 10. Two men